Hello Vapors, this is 100% VG here today to tell you about two products from Origin Vape. Um, they are an absolutely wonderful vendor with uh, extremely good customer support, fast um, product shipping and uh, well order filling and product shipping, wonderful, wonderful um, detail to um, order filling and um, um, just just everything about them is fantastic um, origin vape if you haven't heard of them you need to need to check them out they are fantastic I was recently in a multi vendor sponsored contest and one first place uh, first place was sponsored by Origin Vape. Let me get to where you can read it because you need to know about them. They are wonderful. <clears throat> I won a Heat Vape Invader Mini V2 Tim Control uh, 50 watt device. It's out of the package um, because I'm going to be showing it to you in a minute. And a Ude Zephyrus. It comes with a um, RBA section, dual coil RBA section, and a 0 0.3 ohm dual coil head, uh, OCC head, multiple colors of um, rings I have the clear in there it comes with orange and blue and it comes with a spare glass tank which is really cool that's that's quite a kit um, it also comes with a spare o-ring if you can see that and um, A second filler cap. Uh, can you see that? And a second o ring for inside around the um, to seal around <coughs> the head. And put all this back in the case. The Zephyrus is top fill or bottom fill, like a standard um, sub ohm tank. It is a sub ohm tank, if I didn't say that. Um, you could unscrew, you know, turn it upside down, unscrew it, get access to the head or the RBA section, um, allowing you access to the head even though the tank has juice in it. You can fill it that way, uh, change the head, get to your RBA section to rebuild it. Uh, fill it that way or you can fill it from the top by unscrewing the top section and pulling that little orange tab. Um, I'm not going to pull it but if you can see that tab has two kind of kind of eight shaped indentions in it. I don't know what to call it. Tabs in it, and the uh, the Zephyrus has two eight shaped holes in it. They don't actually close. They they have an opening, <clears throat> and your um, your eyedropper will easily fit into one, with the other being open. You know your eyedropper fits into one with the other being open for air to escape and not cause a backup um, while you're trying to fill, which is a really cool design. So this is top fill or bottom fill. Um, 
the RBA section is, is easy to work with. Um, I, I love the way it, the, the screws are to, uh, to mount the coils. It's, it's a, a, a four post design. Nice RBA section. Um, the, um, the chimney, if you will, unscrews to get to the, um, uh, to the, to the, to the screw posts. Um, it is bottom airflow like the Derringer. Uh, the, the the taste is is just outstanding um, adjustable air on the bottom with an extremely large um, airflow on both sides you can adjust it from from large to small as you like So that if you want to adjust it for mouth to lung hits, you can. Let me get that to where you can see it. I've got it uh, right now set to an extremely small hole. And what you do to one side, it does to the other. Can you see that? Sorry. There you go. What, it, what you do to one side, it does to the other. <coughs> I don't I don't like it quite that small I set it to right about there um, I have mine set to um, 30 watts and 400 degrees Fahrenheit the um, the heat vape invader well let me show you the tank did I do that let me get it to where you can see the writing on it um, Zephyrus it comes with a well fly away <clears throat> it comes with a heat vented a heat vented uh, 510 ring and a Venturi cut 510 mouthpiece you, you can use either or both or your own 510 drip tip I like it like this I think it looks cool can you see that there you go get it where you can see the let me put it over here so you can see there you go you can see the the, the rings um, and the, the, the swirl inside the, the Venturi makes the air span and uh, helps increase flavor a little bit. And I do think it works. I think it works. Um, so anyway, and it's a nice size. It's a nice big bore. Um, the Heat Vape uh, Invader Mini V2 has something of a um, transformer look to it as I spin it. You can see the designs in the bright light reflection. Battery cap on the bottom. Um, in Phil Basardo's video, he had a lot of trouble getting, no, no problems getting the battery cap off, but he had a lot of trouble getting his screwed back on. I have zero issues at all with mine. It just, it just um, threads are smooth as butter. Um, and I actually like what has been criticized as the self-adjusting 510. Uh, you screw your um, your atomizer on first, and then screw that down. And okay, get to where you can see there is. And uh, get to where you can see. Anyway, there is a little bit of a gap here depending on how deep your 510 is but who cares I you know I don't even see it you have to look for it um, but that way because of temp control you get a solid connection between the atomizer and your 510 you don't want a spring-loaded 510 when you have temp control that way you get a good solid connection so good for heat vape you did you did it right in my opinion in my opinion um, 
the heat vape is temp control and or variable wattage only. Uh, if you have a canthal build in it, it will sense that and switch to uh, variable wattage uh, automatically. Very smart device. Um, <clears throat> to, um, to change the temperature you uh, five well okay your 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 power vape button is here and it does protrude to me it's very easy to find there is what appears to be right here a button but it's not that is not a button the the power button is here and it is quite clicky very responsive you can see it turn the unit on it asks right now new coil same coil because I did unscrew it to show you so I'm gonna hit same coil and now it's on okay the screen is very bright um, it's actually too bright to to be read on on the screen but it's very bright and um, from left to right you have the battery display um, showing the charge state of the battery next on top you have the ohms below that in temperature mode it will show the temperature that you're set to um, and then beside that it will show the wattage that you're set to when you're vaping <coughs> that um, temperature will change to the temperature that um, it's actually changing to as it's as it's, as it's um, varying um, depending on the air and whatever to, to maintain whatever to maintain the proper vape this shows the temperature changing I thought it was showing the watch changing, but it's actually showing the temp changing. So in this mode, um, to change the watts, uh, it's a three button design. Your power button is here and your up down buttons are here and here. And um, they they do have a plus and minus embossed in them but they are not um, marked with white or anything like that you, um, they are they are pointed out in the in the manual um, and let's see if I can get it to where you can actually see them okay there is the button right there here is the other one but they are raised and, and quite easy to find. Um, I have no problem finding them. You know, uh, they are raised enough that that there's no issue finding them for me. And um, once you've played with it enough, you you know that's not a button. So no problem for me and shouldn't be for you. Um, to change the wattage, as long as it's not locked, you can lock your wattage. Um, by pressing these two buttons and holding it, it will say um, power lock mode, and then it will it will set to whatever you have it to. Press them both together again and it will change back to normal mode um, I have a little honestly a little bit of trouble getting it to exactly where I want it um, the buttons kinda change are a little bit finicky but I got it I got it to hold at 30 watts okay to change the um, temperature you have to turn it off five clicks one two three four five you turn it off and now you press the two buttons together again and um, it will go into wattage mode and it shows the watts here 
and you can turn the watts up or down let me see if I can do it where you can see you can't read that but um, I'm turning the watts up and down it's on 470 now and I put it put it back to 420 and that's all you have to do it's set when you go back to power power it on it is now set to uh, 30 watts and 420 and um, if I haven't set it when you uh, when you put the atomizer on and tell it new coil it remembers the ohms you don't have to lock it and I find that very convenient um, to me um, going into you know turning it off and setting the wattage in that fashion that's the way most of them work <clears throat> there are a couple out there that you can change the the temperature on the fly I don't find this a problem you you, you go through you know uh, you change the, the the temperature a couple times till you find what you like and you're done you know unless you're unless you're experimenting with different juices I've heard some people say that they think some memory settings would be nice for different juices I have really one all-day vape and so for me this is fine and I don't find the procedure of changing the wattage to be that difficult anyway so um, this is a very nice device when I first got it I didn't think I would like the um, the um, <sighs> what is it the um the, the 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 look of this thing the um oh what do you call it that that little toy um anyway but in use you, you don't really see that um what do you call them um transformers but but in use you don't you don't really see that and this is this is made in an indestructible design I'm not gonna roll it over in my car let me ignore the phone for now I'm not gonna roll over it with my car but there are people that have done it and, and shown that it's indestructible the, the, the casing is rubberized uh, so it's very easy to grip and um, it's also waterproof um, meaning that you can spill water on it you can't take it skin diving you know uh, it would probably survive a, a, a drop in in a foot of water in the bathtub or something it's not really meant to be submerged but I have this is good for me because I have um, ruined had several mods ruined by juice spills so um, even the 510 everything about it is is waterproofed um, they call it, um, oh, I can't find it real quick, the, um, the level of waterproof, it's in the manual, and it's, it's everywhere online, but, um, it takes one 18650 battery, uh, I think they recommend, yeah, a 20 amp battery, let's see, yeah, max input current is 16 amps so you're going to want if you're going 50 amps and um, 50 watts and 600 um, degrees Fahrenheit you're going to want a 20 amp battery um, I have an Imran um, green 38 amp and even though these aren't true what did I say yeah Emron Green 38 amp and even though these aren't true 38 amp continuous batteries they are certainly 20 amp continuous batteries so I don't have an issue with them and the, and the mod has not complained about the battery um, so that is the um, Heat Vape Invader Mini and the Zephyrus um, my um, my first build in this was with 26 gauge nickel I was going for a 1.2 ohm build because I wanted to stay above the 0.10 ohm minimum 
and um, I wrapped it around a 3 32nd inch drill bit <clears throat> and I had quite a long coil uh, two of them uh, it fit inside the RBA section but it was very long um, and I didn't know the uh, the oxidation procedure for nickel I have since seen a video on it and I will put a link to it in the description uh, it's a video by Vapen Fagan um, that also includes some builds for um, um, twisting nickel and canthal it's a very good video that uh, any of you that are new to nickel may want to watch or if you don't know about some of these other uh, nickel canthal uh, builds you may want to watch it. it I found it very helpful um, but um, that first build because it was so long and the um, the uh, nickel was not oxidized it kept shorting and I did not get one uh, 0.12 ohms it it, uh, it first came out to 0.07 and um, the heat vape would not work uh, I took it apart and I found some problems and I, I used a little exacto knife and spread it out a little bit and you know put some space in between and I got it to um, 0.11 but in operation it took it no time to go back down to 0.08 the heat vape invader mini would actually operate at 0.08 ohms even though it's specced at 0.10 but every time it went to sleep, which it does in about 30 minutes, and I would turn it back on with five clicks, it would ask the new coil, same coil thing. So I would tell it same coil, it would operate at 0.08 ohms. But I took that build out because I got tired of that. And I put in a 28 gauge nickel coil. And to try to avoid that mess again, I went for a 0.15 ohm build this one is coming in at 0.11 ohms so I don't have the the new coil bill question every time but uh, I found that oxidation build video that I'm going to link for you guys that I will do next time um, so that's that's it for that's it for for the Zephyrus um, I'm not going to take it apart. I'm not going to go over anything more than that. I showed you how to fill it. Uh, as far as the top cap, it is top refillable. It is bottom refill refillable. I'm not going to tear it apart to show you any more than that. Um, when, when you turn it upside down and take it apart, you can access the head or the, um, the RBA section with it full. If you want to fill it, there are um, four big uh, chambers that you can very easily get a, um, a dropper into to refill it. Um, you can't get it as full as you can if you filled it from the top. But uh, I find it convenient to just fill it from the bottom. That's the way I've been doing it. Um, and the Heat Vape Invader Mini is it, just an excellent... I find it to be an excellent temp control device. Um, so, I'm going to take a couple of vapes. <clears throat> Let the first one. Now you can hear that with the um, with the air shut down, the Zephyrus is a little noisy. I'll open it up all the way for you and show you that it is a pretty quiet device with the air all the way open. And um, there it is, the the air holes, air slot, um, quite big, huge.
Very nice vapor. A little bit flooded now from the smaller hole. Get some of that out with a um, with a Q-tip. Again, this is 30 watts at 420 degrees Fahrenheit. Doing excellent uh, with the uh, with the air all the way open. Still excellent flavor. Um, this is 100% VG with uh, the Flavor Apprentice Cinnamon Red Hots in um, ethyl alcohol, not PG. So 50% um, uh, ethyl alcohol thins the VG quite a bit performs very well um, in this Zephyrus. I don't know why the first one does that. It has to heat up. Probably because my, my coals are not oxidized and I'm not getting the full heat through the whole coil. Got some hot spots in there. Looking forward to my next build being much more successful and flavorful, honestly. But even still, for the first build, um, the, the Zephyrus is performing very, very well. I like the look. I like the design. I think it's a very handsome tank. And um, I love the, the feel of... Uh, the heat vape invader mini v2 it's it's very comfortable um, quite stealthy I have big hands um, but you can see I get a wrap around um, so I think it would be a comfortable device even for people with small hands um, can't say enough about the combo can't say enough about origin vape if you haven't heard of them, haven't tried them, you have to check them out. Um, give Lydia a shout. Um, and, and look, Lydia, uh, a shout out to you and Origin Vape. Thank you so much for this excellent package. Um, excellent win. Took me a little while to get to the video, but love you guys. Um, this is 100% VG for... Um, Origin Vape and this fantastic win. Thank you guys so much. Vape happy. Be happy. See you next time. 100% VG out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.